Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So, let's get started. All right, you guys, how are you all doing today? Looks like Stella, our new kitten, wants to stop and say hi. She wants to help everybody learn about gel polish and what they all need to have before they can get started. If you're here, this video is for the very, very beginner to gel polish. If you have your stuff and you want to get started or you haven't bought anything yet, but you really do want to try it and you know just about all there is to know about regular polish. Well, you don't have to know that. I just kind of threw that in. But the things that I really wanted to know, I should have known before I started with gel polish. That's what's going to be in this video. And I hope that we'll get it all covered for you. If not, you can leave me a comment or questions down in the description box. I will answer them if I can and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm going to clean off the nail polish that I have on my nails right now. I just have some Remove Plus from Zoya. It's actually just an acetone with a little bit of additive in it so that it doesn't dry out your nails so bad. Oh, my nails are filthy. I was just planting flowers today. Really super sorry about that. But we're going to get on with this now. Hold on. Okay, well, first things first, you're going to need a lamp. Now, there are a ton of different lamps out there. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that I would say is that in the description box when you're buying it or on the box when you're trying to buy it, Make sure it's UV and LED, or maybe it'll say dual lamp, because some gel polishes, usually the older ones, um, sometimes some of the cheaper ones, will be UV light cured, and but most of the new ones now that are coming out are LED light cured. So you want to just cover your bases and make sure that they are, any lamp that you buy is UV LED. The wattage really doesn't matter. Usually a 36 or so is good. 36 or 48. It generally, you know, these are the two that I have. I have the Sun X11. I don't know what watt that is. And the Sun X or 7X was a 36 watt, I think. It might have been 48. Not sure. But a lot of companies will send you free ones if you buy some of their gel polishes. Madam Glam sent me this one. It's just a little travel lamp. Um, McCart sent me this one when I bought some poly gels. It's also a little six light travel lamp. And then like Zoya sent me this other one. And this one has a ton of lights, but it's still, I think it's still only seven watts. So it didn't make doesn't make a whole lot of difference, right? So if you've got your lamp, the next thing you'll need is base coat, a color, and a top coat. Yes, you want a top coat, and you absolutely need a base coat. If you don't have a base coat, your polish is just going to fall right off. I mean, I know, I do, I understand. I usually don't wear base coats under my regular polish because I don't need to. If it's not going to stain my nails, if it's not going, well, China Glaze will chip off if I don't wear it. Wear a base coat, their base coat. So make sure that, but make sure you have a base coat. When I first started doing gel nails, I didn't know. I mean, I knew I needed a light and, you know, so I had the light, I had a top coat, I had a color, I went ahead and put it all on. It lasted less than a day and then it just all peeled right off, just like nothing. 
So make sure that you have a base coat. And the top coat is also important because if you do not have a top coat and you wipe the tacky layer off your color, you're going to want to, we'll talk about the tacky layer later, but it's just going to be dull and boring. So let's get started. <laughs> all right. Now that you've got all of your products, you're going to want to do your basic prep, uh, the basic prep on your nail. I've just got a wooden cuticle stick, an orange wood stick. That's really all you need. Well, you're going to need, I have some cotton rounds, so you're going to need a nail wipe and some alcohol to clean your nail off because you're going to want to make sure that you get all of the oils off of your nail and you're going to want to make sure that you get all of the dead cuticle off of your nail plate because you don't want that on there. It will cause lifting if there it is on there. You can of course use a cuticle remover if you have one or if you want to. And I've just got a cotton round here from, I don't know if it was Target or Walmart or I don't know. It's just a makeup cotton round that you see in any store. And I put a little bit of alcohol on there and wiped it off. Sorry, I had a little bit of cuticle there left on the nail. And then we wiped it off again, made sure that there's no oil residue left. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So you shake up your base coat. And I'm going to show you this. I wiped my brush off completely. There is almost zero polish on that base coat. The base coat is going to last you forever. You see, there's like nothing. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you scrub it in because your nail texture, there's a little bit of texture to your nail, whether you can feel it or not. And if you scrub it in, you're getting it underneath all those little tiny flakies and you're making sure that it gets all up in there. Nice and good. And once you scrub it on, then you wipe it all off smooth again and thin, 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 thin. Just remember thin, very important when you're working with gel polish. Now, some companies are going to tell you that they, you need their lamp and you need their base coat and their top coat and nothing else will work. I call BS. Some companies, you are going to need their top coat and base coat. Because for some reason, they just don't react well together and, you know, it'll fall off. But the lamp is all BS. You can have whatever lamp you need or want. The top and base coat, some work, some don't. I would go with one company to begin with. And then if you enjoy it, you see how thin that is now. I wiped all the extra off of the base now. So you find a company you like, use their polishes. If you want to expand and try new companies and or you find a polish that you just love from a different company, no problem. Try it with the base and the top coat that you already have. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, then you know you got to go buy the base and top from that company. Easy peasy. But in my personal opinion, as somebody who has a large number, a large collection of gel polishes, 99% of the time it is not needed. So I would definitely not spend the extra money if you don't have to on extra tops and bases because quite frankly I would rather spend my money on an extra color I don't know about you but you know base and top coat is just not that fun well top coat is starting to be fun now believe me we got glitter top coats and everything else you would it's fantastic but on with the show. 
Okay, so now that we've got the top or the base coat, sorry, the base coat all on, scrubbed in and wiped off, we're going to pop it into the lamp for the 30 seconds that it needs to cure some. Now, I haven't had any problems with Madam Glam, and I haven't had any problems lately with heat spikes. But if you buy the cheaper polishes, you're going to get more heat spikes. Now, the base coat is always the worst for the heat spikes. If you get a heat spike, just if it starts to warm up, right when it starts to warm up, you take your hand out of the lamp, let it cool off a little, and then stick it back in for the rest of the time. And actually, the better quality product you buy, the less of a chance for a heat spike because things are getting in, polishes are being improved, formulas are being improved all the time. So everything is getting better and better less heat spikes, longer wear, everything's getting better. Okay, so now we're going to start with the color. This is Bright Barbie Pink from Madame Glam. I have way too much polish on the brush, so I'm going to wipe some of that off and come back. All right, the main thing that you need to know is thin, 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 thin coats. If you can see that I am, if you're good at painting your nails already, it's the same thing. Only just make sure that you're not putting a lot of polish on there. You can bounce it up to the cuticle by fanning out the brush. And be careful not to get any on your skin because you might become allergic over time if you get a lot on your skin. Also, if you have some on your skin and you put it in the lamp, it's going to burn. It doesn't matter how new the polish is or how good the formula is. It's going to burn on your skin and it hurts. Okay? So just be very careful to make sure that you get any and all polish off of your skin. Use a little bit of alcohol and you should be fantastic. I don't know why. This polish is pulling away from the base coat a little bit, but just make sure that you have it exactly the way you want it before you put it in the lamp because, honey, it ain't going to change. <laughs> Once you put it in the lamp, that is the way it's going to look. So if you have any ridges or bumps, it, that's the way it's going to look. You know how when you have regular polish, you can put a ton on your nail and it'll dry down? So like you can have this big bubble of polish on your hand and it'll just dry down to a nice flat, flat polish job. Yeah, that is not going to happen with gel. It is what it is when you put it in the lamp. There is no going back unless you want to file it and soak it off just the way it is. So just be careful. Look at what you're doing before you... Look, you know, just look at it. Give it some time to self-level if you need to. If you are being a little vicious with the brush. But I'm going to show you here what happens when you put way too much polish or put... Come on, over a little bit. There you go. This is Urban Graffiti Serious Black. So I'm going to show you what happens when you put too much polish on the nail or this is probably about the same amount of polish as I would have used or would use with regular polish. I just kind of got the brush a little bit loaded up and I'm just wiping it all on there. I'm not getting any more on the brush. I'm just, you can see kind of how thick that is. And nail nails. There's a little bit of a bump there, but Nail Nails is, is a really good product to um, Urban Graffiti. So it self-levels quite nicely. So that sucker is already self-leveled by the time I put it in the lamp. So it's not going to show you any bumps or <laughs> ridges. But let's go back to my nail. We'll give this a second coat. And you can tell that that 
polish is pretty pigmented. And if I would have put a little thicker layer on, it maybe would have just been a one coater. But please don't be tempted to do that. You're going to have all sorts of problems if you do that. Also, and I'll show you here in a second, what I used to do when I, well, and I don't even know if I still do it, but what I used to do when I would polish my nails, you know, I would end up with a ton on the tip, but you see how flat that is, how perfect? Yeah, I know, I'm totally like tooting my own horn. But you see how I'd flatten the brush and I'd just basically bring it and I'd end up with this lump of polish at the end of the tip of my finger. And that always helped me to not break my nails, not snag my nails on anything. It just gave a little bit thicker of a polish at the tip of my fingernail. So it helped my nails survive a little longer. Now that would always flatten out with regular polish, but not with gel polish. Gel polish is going to give you all the strength that you need. It's almost like having rubber on your nails. You get that little bit of polish off. Just make sure that you get thin coats exactly where you want it. And I'm leaving it sit for just a couple seconds to level, to just self level so that the light line is completely straight. And you can even flip it upside down for a little bit if you think it's maybe self-leveling a little bit too much towards your cuticles. And then you can just, when you when it's perfect, when you think it's perfect, you just go ahead and pop it into the lamp. Madam Glam cures in 30 seconds. So we're doing that. Now here is the black urban graffiti. <laughs> I'm trying to do this with one hand. And Come on, you can see that, that that's dented. Ah, you can't really see yet, but it dented when I dropped it because there's uncured product in the center there. And a lot of, especially the lesser expensive polishes, have a lot of chemicals in them that you need to get cured. You don't want that sitting on your skin. You're going to end up becoming allergic whether you want to or not. You can see I can push it down. The top layer is cured, but not underneath. You don't want that just sitting soaking into your fingernail for the two weeks that you're going to have that on. But you're not it's not going to last two weeks either because you can see it's like a plastic top coat and it's just really thin. You got all this goop inside. <laughs> all that uncured product. So you don't want, I mean, another, you don't want that gel polish, you know, you don't want to accidentally break that open someday in the middle of work or something. And then you've got that black gel polish everywhere and you don't have anything to clean it up with or whatever color your is. Just be very, very careful. Just not, you don't have to be that careful. Just be, you know, thin, thin coats, thin coats. Oh, and the more opaque the color, the easier it will be to have that accidentally happen. So just watch yourself. Be careful. And sometimes you can give it a double cure and it'll hopefully help. Now, when you take your finger out of the lamp, that is most likely going to have, be sticky. That is called a tacky layer. Some people say wipe it off. Some people say don't. It's basically just uncured gel. It was touching the air or something so it doesn't cure right. I'm not exactly sure. But I say if you're just going to top coat it and be done, leave it on. It's not going to hurt anything. It has pigment in it. So if you wipe it off, you're going to be wiping off some of the color. So leave it on. It's not hurting anybody. If you're going to be painting nail art on there or something, it might be easier to wipe off just because it doesn't 
your brush doesn't move as smoothly along a tacky layer. That's it. So here we go with the top coat. And I know, oh, I don't know why, but the, well, I do know why, because I love me a good juicy top coat. Nice, thick, juicy top coat. It is very hard for me sometimes to think thin. I always have to think thin with my top coat. Just remember to make it thin. Make it thin, Lori. It doesn't need to be thick. It doesn't need to be glitter smoothing. I had something in the top coat there, so I just wiped, wiped it off with wiped it off with my alcohol wipe pad. If you could see there what I was talking about with the pigments, the if you wipe that tacky layer off, you're getting pigments. You're removing some of the pigments. So you're making it a little less opaque. It's just the way it is. So we're going to try again with this top coat and hopefully I don't get any fuzzies. It was probably a little bit of Stella just helping out. But we don't need any Stella fuzzies in our nails. Just saying. And you can see how slow I am when I paint my nails because I just, <laughs> I'm picky and I like to get it just right. I know it's silly, but whatever. I have time. They're my nails and I have to look at them. So there. <laughs> All right. And that is, we're gonna, well, we're going to pop that into the lamp first. And that is all there is to it. Let that go for a cure. Okay, and you're gonna to wanna to remember with gel polish, most of the top coats are tack free. Means they don't have that sticky layer. You're gonna to wanna to wait 30 seconds to a minute, let it cool off completely before you touch it or it will dull it. So just be careful not to smudge it, not to mess with it, let it cool and you will be fantastic. I hope that I've covered all the bases for very basic, very beginner. If I haven't, if you have any other questions, let me down, know down in the description box below and I will try and answer them for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If, if you wanna see more of me and you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon and I will see you again next time. Bye!